You know, when I started talking about the tech apprenticeship program with with you, with me, you know, what we always said is that the GED learner has to have a path to success. And the GED is just the beginning of that. And so what we know about the tech apprenticeship is that so many of our learners don't recognize that they have technology skills. They have skills that resonate in a tech world. And so the tech apprenticeship means a path to a career, a path to a career that maybe they never dreamed of or never even thought of. And what I love about the tech apprenticeship is so many of our learners, they start talking about it and their eyes light up and they dreamed, they dreamed of this and having a career that they could uh, talk about and be proud of and have a sustaining wage. It's unique. It's unique because it's the first sign somebody looking for us. And really when I help us to increase more our, our talents or e- even though give us a little bit more like courage, we can do better things. Well, I love computers, but I don't have the skills. So I wish somebody look at me and give me the opportunity because I really love that. My my previous job, it was medical data entry. So yes, we use a lot of computers, but I need more skills. The idea of a tech apprentice is based on the traditional apprenticeship model. So this idea that someone can learn practical skills and then step into an entry-level role and continue to learn and grow over time. A tech apprentice has emerged because there is a huge demand for tech skills in the market. And currently there's not enough people to fuel that demand. We don't believe that you need to go to university to step into a fulfilling, meaningful tech role. We believe that those skills can be learned in as little as 150 hours. You can be job ready to step into an incredibly rewarding career. Skills-based employment is um, a counter-narrative to a lot of traditional recruitment methods which focus on someone's past roles or past education. Skills-based employment is about looking at someone's ability to learn skills and recency of skill competency, not so much time or experience. Um, And and this is the way of the future because um, skills are moving so rapidly in the market. So someone's ability to learn new skills constantly and deploy confidently with those skills is a much better predictor in the workforce of of team fit, of productivity, and all the things that companies are looking for. We believe GED learners have an incredible wealth of experience, diverse backgrounds, and um, knowledge and aptitude to deliver to the workforce. And it's previously been overlooked by employers. So our hope is through this program, we can inspire the GED learner to consider a career in tech, to understand how their personal strengths might make them suited, and to provide them with the free training and support to help them land that first entry-level role. I'm still studying just one exam and then three more to go, then I'll be done. Yes, I actually completed the two courses in software development. I have already finished principles of programming and introduction of web development. I'm planning to complete all so that I could get the certificates and try to move forward in life. What brings me here is to find an opportunity in technology and to find a job. I was very passionate with programming since I was 13 years old. When I was a kid, actually. So that's why maybe there might be like an opportunity here. Maybe I can grow even more. So that's why I went here. Some of the broad career paths that we're looking at are things in the data analytics field. So data engineering, data analytics, decision generation. It also includes things like cybersecurity, cyber analytics work. It can include things like low code and software development type roles at entry and mid-level. I think the, the minute someone hears tech, they think, oh, I'm not a technologist, I don't know technology. And what I would tell you is that there's so many technology jobs out there. Some have a lot of technology in, integrated in them and some are really just working in a technology team. And so I'd say jump in, ask questions, be curious and learn. Just see if this is something for you and don't be afraid because everyone at GED and with you with me wants you to succeed.